Hello. Welcome to Verbling. Hi there. I am Teacher Oakley. And for the next hour, we are going to have a conversation. And we're going to talk about animals. Ah, now, I know many of you people come from the city. And you don't have much experience with animals. I don't know. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? Well, let's talk about animals. Roger, hello. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, teacher. How are you? Hi. I'm doing well, thanks. Roger, you live in Colombia. Yep. No, yes. No, yes. Sorry, I just had a... <laughs> minor mental spasm there. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, what the heck was that? I don't know. Uh, Roger, where you live in Colombia, do you ever have any experience interacting with animals? Yeah, do you mean not domestic animals, but... Any animals. Other, other. Yeah, with domestic animals, these are very common in every place. Uh, dogs and cats. Uh, my neighbor, when I was child, they used to keep a lot of animals in in their house. Uh, parrots. Yeah, they they had parrots, dogs, cats, all at the at the same time. But uh, in my case, I I didn't have uh, pets when I was child, and in this moment neither. And other kind of animals in the zoo. There is a zoo here, and I had been there. Yeah. So not so many times, at least three or four times. And yeah, oh. there are a lot of species. Oh, oh, okay, well, hang on, Roger. All right, first of all, parrots, 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 first syllable stress in English, parrots. Parrots. Yeah, good. Yeah, all right, so just the zoo. All right, Roger, can I ask you, would you like to have a pet? Mm, the only pet that I would like to have would be a, a cat. Mm, just a, a cat. A lion? Sorry? A lion? A lion. <laughs> or a, 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 a Bengal tiger? <laughs> yeah, the, I, I like those, but those are very dangerous. I will prefer a simple cat. <laughs> a simple cat. All right, a, a, Roger wants a stupid cat. So anybody uh, who has a stupid cat, <laughs> put it in a box and send it to Roger because he would, <laughs> he would greatly appreciate that. All right, thank you, Roger. Okay, okay. let's see. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see who else we've got here. We've got a Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Hello. Hi, are you feeling any better today? Mm, a little bit. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we're going to talk about animals, Heidi. Do you have any animals living in your house? No. Oh, I'm living in a condo. Oh, the re residents are um, prohibited to have any pet here. And you're Japanese, so you never break the law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very... I'm an American, so I would immediately get a pet. All the way for the rule. Yeah, I'm an American. We just don't. Okay. Uh, Heidi, if you could have any pet, if the, if the well, condominium... I'm a child. Yes, uh, I was living in the countryside. My family had a lot of animals. They did? Always we had two or three dogs and uh, two, three, four, five cats and uh, goat, rabbit. Um, nice. Some small birds, and even mother uh, was having a lot of chicken to to lay the eggs. Great. 
You know, uh, Heidi, I, I watched. Uh, I'm, I'm a moron, as many Americans are, and I, I was watching uh, a stupid TV program uh, called Survivor. Have you ever heard of that, Survivor? Yeah. yeah. A anyway, they uh, they gave the survivors living on a desert island some chickens, and they didn't understand how chickens worked. <laughs> Which amused me to no end. Oh, do chickens lay eggs without a, a, a rooster? Do female chickens lay eggs without a rooster? What happens? Do they fertilize the eggs? They really didn't understand. <laughs> it's kind of funny. People who don't know anything about animals, really, I don't, I don't know. It's funny. Gregory. Yes. Living there in Israel. Do You, yeah. you live in the city, though. Do you live in the city or the country, Gregory? Small town. Small town. 50,000 50, citizens. Okay, okay. Do you, ha do you have any animals living in your house? In my house, uh, I have uh, one straight cat. Uh, he come to our window and ask him for uh, food. And we give him. It's a uh, half hour. He live uh, outside, but uh, we feed him. Okay, that sounds typical. Cats, you know. Uh, humans are the masters of dogs, but cats, you know, they're the masters of people. Yeah. They tell you what to do, right, Gregory? Feed me, Gregory. Feed me now. Right. Yes, uh, yeah. Exactly. It's sitting on the window and uh, say meow, meow all the time. Okay. <laughs> is that what he says? <laughs> okay. Okay. Is that uh, is that an Israeli accent uh, that I hear there? I thought I heard an Israeli accent. At meow. Exactly. It's Hebrew. Oi, meow. Oi, <laughs> meow. Oi, vey, meow. Yeah. Oi, vey, meow. <laughs> oh, that's okay. All right, Hebrew cats. They must be fun. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Ruth is my wife and my daughter. All time asking, uh, ask me for uh, bring some uh, pet in the house, and I agree. But I say to them, uh, okay, you can care for it, and say uh, say no. You can care for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gregory, don't fall for it, buddy. Don't fall for it. I know how it goes. <laughs> yeah, they'll say they take care of it, but then you're the one who has to deal. All right? Don't fall for it. Uh, Alexandra. Alexandra. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. <laughs> Uh, I I love your I, I love your picture here, Alexandra. I'm hearing very severe echo. Do you have a headphone? Yes, I have. Oh, sorry, I forgot to close it in. Oh, uh, thanks. All right, Alexandra, in my best Donald Duck that I can do. You do it. <laughs> Is it exactly yeah, the, like that? <laughs> You're a good. <laughs> well, okay. I, I, you know, I specialize in intonation of English ducks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Alexander, you got any animals? Do you have any uh, animals? In there? Um, my daughter has a dog, a little one. I used to have a big dog, but now I live in an apartment, so I, I can't. <laughs> but you have a little dog. Yes, she has. Boring. But I take, but I take care. <laughs> right? Okay. I, tell that to Gregory. All right, Gregory, are you listening, Gregory? Yes. Yes, sir. Listen to what Alexander is telling you. Okay. I have to feed, I have to <laughs> to walk, <laughs> and um, to show around is her dog. <laughs> so, 
to right. show it it's to your, the people. It's, it's your daughter's dog, but you have to yeah. feed it and walk it. And uh, okay, what kind of dog, Alexander? The breed, do you mean? The breed, do you mean? It's um, cheats. The breed. A what? It's um, British. No, <laughs> the breed is is a sheet. Ah. The breed, okay. Yeah. Breed, okay. We when we were talking and we were speaking in English, we talk about a breed of dogs. Okay, so it, your breed of dog is a shit. Shit, I don't know how Sue. to say it. <laughs> shit Sue. Sue. You shouldn't shit just too. say shit because that's a bad <laughs> word in English. I know. <laughs> you have to continue there with the shit zoo, <laughs> which which okay. makes it okay if you if you if you continue, shit zoo. Nah, it's a shit zoo. The breed is the race. Shit zoo is a the breed is the race. Ooh, that's a crazy question, Roger. I guess it is. <laughs> Yeah. You know, we normally don't think about animals and humans breed race, I guess, technically speaking. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. So, uh, Roger, if you want to be that way, what breed are you? <laughs> <laughs> human breed. <laughs> what type of human, though? Are you a uh, shit human? breed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're, you're not a German Shepherd or uh, okay. <laughs> Chihuahua or anything. Okay. Uh, Mariam. Hello, oh, Mariam. Hello. hello, how are you today? Oh, fine, and you? Super terrific and extra specially uh, happy. Oh, well, <laughs> all right. No, I'm lying. Totally, I'm totally lying to you. Uh, uh, Miriam, do you have any pets? Any uh, animals living yeah. in your house? Yes, I have two cats at home. Um, they are adult, and there is a, a male and a female. Okay. Uh, well, do your uh, do your pets have different personalities? Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, this right. one, I, I, I'm just having yeah. one on my lap, and he's too spoiled. Uh, Can you like show it. us? Can you? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, again, again, again. Wait, again. Oh, oh yeah, okay. He looks like the devil. He and looks e evil. Is he evil? No, no. He no. looks evil. No? No, he's not. He's not. Uh, oh, he's very ador adorable, and he likes to be a uh, have a uh, play with play with people, and so yeah. on. Oh, so he's okay. He's nice to people. Some cats are yeah. not nice to people. You know, I used to have a cat that looked very similar to your cat, black, all, all black like that, uh, but white face, white face. But then had a black mustache. Very funny. Mm -hmm. Kind of yeah. a little suspiciously like Hitler mustache. It was a little scary, <laughs> but uh, we we called the cat Groucho for Groucho Marx, a famous uh, comedian with a mustache. But anyway, I can imagine that. Yeah, uh, Mariam, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Colombia. You're from Colombia. Yeah. Okay, Mariam. Where, where do you live? Are you do you living in do you live in the city or the country? Yes, I live in Medellin. Okay, well that's kind of a city, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have you? Okay, I'm very curious. I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to ask Roger here. Uh, have you ever seen any wild animals in Colombia? Uh. Wild this animals. We, we live in the same city. No, no, so not the that zoo. in the zoo. <laughs> no, Roger, not the darn zoo. No, not the zoo. Have you? What does, is the craziest, wildest animal you've seen with your own two eyes? 
a snake, a scorpion, uh, a chame chameleon. Roger, you saw a chameleon. Ch chameleon, yeah, chameleon. Yeah, you got a big that. one. A big one. <laughs> yeah, because uh, there is a city here in Colombia that is called uh, Barranca Bermeja. Uh huh. And there are like I don't know why in that city uh, there are so many. Ah, but that, those are not chameleons. Are similar, but they had another name. Mm, let me see how is the name of the animal. A uh, gecko. Ah, I, iguana. I don't know iguana. Do you know iguanas? Iguanas. Yeah. Are there iguanas in Colombia? Yeah. There yeah. are? Really? Yes. Oh, no <coughs> kidding. Oh, and and the, iguana, yeah. the iguana is, the, is like a symbol of a company, a petroleum company, the biggest petroleum company here in Colombia. Oh, and that's a perfect symbol. That's, that's a great symbol for an oil company. Unthinking yeah. and violent <laughs> and just destroys everything. <laughs> Perfect symbol for an oil company. That's, that's terrific. Very good. I I love that. And copying the the URL of the image. Yeah. I think that that is one of the the wildest because I don't I don't want to see a a, a sne sneaker. A snake. Sneaker. I don't want to be a snake. snake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, a sneaker is a shoe. Like yeah. You know. yeah. <laughs> Adidas I don't want to see Nike. Snake. Okay, snake. Mariam, have you ever seen a in Colombia a wild animal like a snake or? A, uh, yes, I have seen several snakes and iguanas in my life. Uh, though I can't remember seeing any other animals outside uh, of a zoo. Really? Okay. Uh, are, are are you afraid of any animals, Mariam? Uh, let me see, maybe scorpions or any other poisonous animals. Miriam, my um, my astrological sign is Scorpio. Okay, just I'm telling you, I was Mine born too. in I was born in November. Roger, you too. Okay, Miriam. Yeah, I born in November the nine. Oh, November six, me. Roger, we're gonna uh, party. It's we're close. Gonna, yeah. We're gonna party. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, Gregory, have, Gregory, yes. have you ever seen any wild animals in the wild, for real wild animals, running around, being all naked, n wearing no clothes, uh, and running around? You know, I walk in, in the morning, early in the morning, and. Uh, once I see some strange animal uh, uh, go toward me without any fear, and I uh, was went uh, toward him. It was jackal, I think. Maybe it was a strange dog, but uh, he be behaved like jackal. Ah. In our park, uh, it was uh, a little bit weird. But I say to him hello, and we go <laughs> to each other in own direction. You said, you said hello to a jackal. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? Yeah, what can you say? I, it's okay, Gregory. I've met a couple of politicians in my life, and I said hello too. And I, you know, I when like, I walk, like they were jackals as well. So. You know, uh, sometimes, uh, one time I meet a band of uh, stray dogs. It's, uh, they was surround me, three very big stray dogs. Uh, i a little bit afraid of them, but they say not harm me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, just a little English to share with you. Normally, of course, dogs and cats are, are pets and they're they're domestic, but when they're not domestic and they're wild, we call them feral. A feral dog or a feral cat 
instead of a you know a domestic animal, one kept by humans. Um, but any any sort of animal that we normally consider is you know taken care of by humans, but it's not. It's we call it we say it's feral. Feral. Wild. Can I, can I say straight? Stray dogs. You, yes, you can. Yes, uh, absolutely. It's totally correct to say a stray dog or a stray cat. Uh, absolutely. It would be a little weird, Gregory, if you said, oh, I saw a stray chicken. <laughs> 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 because chickens are not generally very frightening. <laughs> Although, there are some roosters. I could tell you stories. I've had some serious fights with roosters in my life. No kidding. Okay, a jackal. That's very interesting because a jackal is a kind of a wild dog. It's not a dog, though. It's an animal. It's it's more like a wolf or a fox. It's a wild animal, and they're quite fierce. Actually, they're quite dangerous. So, but it's small. It's small, and uh, it's uh, alone. When it's alone, uh, it's you're alone, not, uh, yeah. You not attack. If it was several of them, it's maybe. That's right. When they're all together, it's a pack, and wolves, uh, wolves and dogs hunt in a pack, and that's why they're dangerous because there's many of them. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Actually, foxes hunt alone. They're they're a um, a canine. Canine means a, a dog. Feline is a cat. Uh, in the they're in the canine family, and uh, foxes are hunt alone, which is and they're they're very shy. Yeah, like hyenas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was my hyena laugh. Sorry, I'm sorry you had to hear that. Terribly sorry, uh, Alexandra. Besides Donald Duck, what wild animal have you ever have you ever run into in your life? Um, my grandfather had a farm in the countryside, and then we used to go there on vacation. And a lot of animals, like chicken, horse, uh, but once. At night, we were hearing strange sounds <laughs> came from the forest, <laughs> and yeah. then uh, a fox appeared. <laughs> and we we're talking about fox. Yeah. So I I remember that, and uh, I I was really <laughs> scared. <laughs> you were? But, yes. Because I, I think in, it's, uh, she could attack, I don't know. <laughs> but a uh, cousin started to feed the animal. And he started she, to feed them? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And uh, I don't know, it, she came closer. And I think she was a little suspicious about it. We trying to uh, catch her, <laughs> uh -huh. but then I, in my in my position, I, I was afraid. <laughs> so she came close, and my my cousin could touch her. She really? accepted. She allowed. He touched. I I never <laughs> do that <laughs> because I don't know. Wow. Her, her reaction. <laughs> okay. Uh, where, Alexander, I forgot to ask, where are you from? I forgot to ask you. I'm sorry. I'm from Brazil. Brazil? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it was a, a fox, a fox, a dog like animal, a fox like that? A fox. Okay. What was the sound you heard? Oh, sorry. You said you heard a, a sound and you started to become nervous, and then a a fox came out of the forest. Yes. Uh, I'm curious what sound. 
a Brazilian fox makes. I don't, I don't remember <laughs> exactly the sound, but I think there were more animals out there. <laughs> okay, because, because it, was, it was in a farm. In, um, because look, I I have to tell you something, Alexander. Okay. I don't, I don't think fox make any sound. Oh, I thought you said that you heard a sound. Okay, so, you know, coyotes and wolves in America, you know, they go, Aww. they make a very mournful, spooky sound at night. And they do, and you can really hear that in America. Aww. It's very scary. <laughs> okay. But I thought you said they made a sound, but I, you know, and then I'm thinking, Alexander lives in, the, in Brazil, and he's talking about foxes, and, and, and uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but in English, a fox is a very attractive person. Could be a male or a female, all right? Well, women can say, oh, she, he's a fox, or men can say, wow, what a fox means she's very beautiful and sexy. And so, you know, you know, you're from Bra you're from Brazil, so I'm just picturing, you know, the girls in Ipanema. <laughs> that is not offensive. They should be offensive. You should be offended. I hope uh, Alexander's. Are you offended? I'm not. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> Roger, don't every, worry. Every, everyone, not every, everyone relates Brazil with the carnival and the girls. <laughs> um, would people think it's offensive in English? That's a very good question, actually, Roger, and I should take it very seriously. Uh, actually, if a girl called me a fox, Roger, <laughs> I would be so happy. <laughs> I would be so sad. But, for, but in the opposite, for a... Uh, or women. I don't know. Why don't you try, uh, Miriam? Uh, if Roger <laughs> called you a fox, would you be angry? Yeah. Just theoretically, it's hypothetically. She... That's okay. Translate. Hypothetically. Hypothetical question. If it's okay, Miriam. No, it's not okay. <laughs> no, it's not okay. She yeah. changed her mind, Roger. Because we because if we translate it sounds <laughs> in Spanish it sounds very strong. <laughs> oh no no no! In English, the name for a female dog is very bad. Okay, if I then okay, the word for female dog I'm not even I can't even say it on verbal. <laughs> but if I said that, that would be a very bad word. And no woman would like that. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> uh, but fox, I you, honestly, some may take it as a compliment, and some may be offended. And here, uh, uh, Alexandra, what? Uh, here in Brazil, about, we yeah, yeah, yeah. we used to say when a girl is pretty, very beautiful, we say she's a, a cat. Like she's. It's, well, I, it's not a problem uh, here. No, no, okay, I understand. And uh, in in America, in English, saying a girl's a fox or say, uh, actually, honestly, it used to be. Men said it about women, but honestly, in America now, it's much more women say it about men, quite honestly. It's the other way. And, of course, any compliment a man gets, he's going to take. Uh, yeah, I don't care. You know, it's always good. There's no bad compliment. You, you can't insult a man if it somehow implies somehow he looks good. Okay. Uh, even you call a man a gorilla. Oh, I'm big and strong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's okay. Fine. Uh, you know. But, okay. Since you're from Brazil, I have to tell you, if you call a girl a cat, it's that's okay in Brazil. But in English, there's another word for cat 
that you can use in English, and it's the yeah, it's not good. <laughs> and it begins with a P, and it ends with a Y, and it says meow, pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> wow. Okay, meow. You got to be careful. But okay, have you ever have you ever been to a zoo, Alexander? Oh, sorry, teacher. Cut the the sound. Okay. Uh, um, uh, have you ever been to a zoo? Yes, I've been in a zoo with the, the lions and the gorillas. <laughs> okay. Been... What do you think about zoos? How how do zoos make you feel? Are you excited to see the animals? Or does it make you depressed? I, I, actually, I don't like seeing the the animals. Uh, behind the the bars, you know, <laughs> I think they should live in a wild life in the forest. But since man is taking their space, <laughs> destroying forests, destroying wildlife, mm -hmm. their only space, the only available space for them is in the zoo. But I don't, I don't like. I feel depressed. So. <laughs> Um, okay, but I can't. I can't imagine a way to keep them in their natural. Uh, well, natural okay, in Brazil, life. okay, in many countries in the United States and in Canada, actually here in the Philippines, they have um, a kind of zoo where the animals run around all free. Okay, they're they're just out in a field. And um, you drive through on a bus with bars and on the window, just so you don't get attacked by anything. And you, you sort of drive through a park, but the animals are just out there. They're not in a cage. Yeah. Uh, yes, of course. There's a uh, there's a fence around <laughs> the area, of course. But uh, is there anything like that in Brazil? Yes, there are a few places like that, uh, but the um, most common is zoo, closed zoo with the behind the bars. I think yeah. there are only three places like that. One is here in my city, Sao Paulo, called the Simba Safari. <laughs> yeah, and okay, Safari, oh, that's so common, yeah, okay. Yes, and two more places only. It's unfortunately, two more places only. All right. Oh, so you we have the biggest forest, Amazons, with the wildlife. Indeed. Yeah, you do. But, but uh, except well, for yeah. there, the rest of the... Okay, yeah, well, you live in Sao Paulo, which is just a huge city. How many people live in Sao Paulo? What's the population? It's huge, mm. right? I don't remember. I need to research. Well, yeah, about... I... 10 million. I I was, that's what exactly what I was going to say. It's like 10 million or something. I think it, it's 10 million. All right. Um, have you ever had a chance to go out into the countryside? I mean, hello. You live in Brazil. I mean, it's enormous. There's all kinds of different countryside and beautiful things to see. Do you ever get outside of the city and... Go out into nature. Actually, my my father has a um, kind of um, ranch, a farm, cool. a small a farm, a small farm. Yep. So, um, every other weekend we go there, and uh, he has animals there, and we are in contact with the nature. Yeah, but go out into the forest. <laughs> yeah, but we are afraid not because of the animals, but because of the people. <laughs> because of the people, okay. Yes, robbers. Not the animals. The animals are less dangerous. <laughs> okay, to be honest with you guys, uh, I'm an American. I've been living in the Philippines for eight years. One wonderful thing about America... The cities are dangerous. 
the countrysides, the mountains and valleys and lakes and streams and beautiful, extensive and ridiculously beautiful America is very peaceful and safe. Nothing's going to hurt you there. There, nobody's nobody or nothing's going to hurt you, even though there are bears and wolves and mountain lions and rattlesnakes and poisonous spiders and uh, I can't think of anything else all right goats <laughs> wild goats but you don't have to worry about anything if you go out into the countryside in America it's great uh, let me talk to Roger you ever go out into the countryside in Colombia Countryside? Forest. The mountains. Hiking mountains. In the forest. Out on a lake or going down a river. Something like that. Mm, do you mean if I have went to... I have gone to those places? Yeah, that's my question. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm thinking. You're thinking. If you're thinking, <laughs> that means no. Yeah, no. Well, why? Maybe, but I don't remember because there are lots of rivers here. So I think that that in all these years I had I had been there, but I don't remember when. Okay. For instance, near to Barranca Bermeja, there is a river, a big river that is called. Uh, Magdalena. Magdalena, okay. Yeah, and it's between my department, Antioquia, and another department. Yeah, okay. okay, all right. But um, for instance, hiking? Mm, no, never. Jeez, I'm an American, and I've been to Trinidad and Tobago and hiked the highest mountain in Trinidad, and I went to Caracas in Venezuela and hiked out into the jungle and camped in the middle of the forest. Is this just an American thing? Is this something Americans do? I, I don't know. Are we crazy? I, I don't know. I have a lot of friends that like to go hiking, and it's near from where I live. Uh, in a place that is called Santa Elena, and it's it's very very cold, and people yeah. like to go there and camping and stay there with it's the family, cold. others without the family just for fun and to uh, drink <laughs> and to drink yeah. in the forest. Hooray! Drinking in the forest is fun. Uh, okay. All right. Good night, Mariam. You ever yeah. go out into the forest? Uh, yes, many times. Many times? I'm not so deep in the forest, so you could uh, see all the savage animals there. <laughs> okay. All right. What kind of wild animals live in Colombia, anyway? Uh, aside from iguanas and snakes, there are some kind of... I don't know how this mammal is called. It's like a, some kind of raccoon that likes to eat some fruits, nuts, and even uh, hens. They like to eat hens. Okay. Uh, it's called sarigüeya. I don't know how to say that in, in English. <laughs> Can you uh, try typing it into the verbling chat box? Uh, okay, I try. Thanks, I appreciate it. I, cause so I can check it out. I'm sorry, I'm slightly insane, and I, I would awesome. like to check it out. I, I found that it's possum. Oh, like a possum. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, I found one of the... Okay, okay. I just told you, when I went to um, Venezuela, and we went hiking in the mountains uh, outside the city, I saw the most giant possum I've ever seen. It was like black and white with stripes. Maybe it's the same. It's there. It, it was really cool, but much bigger than the ones in America. It was cool. It kind of scared me a little bit because I didn't, I you know, I didn't know what it was. 
I've seen more wild animals in South America than you have, Mariam. Mm. That's that's ridiculous. You you need to go out into the forest more. <laughs> uh, we need to go to Amazonia. There you go. Uh, together, both of you. You should go together. So you can protect each other. <laughs> in case there's any scary animals. Can I ask a weird question to both of you guys? Are there monkeys in Colombia? Oh, uh, yes. You have, oh, many. Okay. Well, you know, that's weird for the rest of the world. They, you know, it's not, monkeys aren't normal in many parts of the world. What are, <laughs> really? <laughs> there are many, but uh, there, are, there are many of the small ones. Not just the big ones like chimpanzees or... Right, right. I, I understand. Of course. Okay. Do they make weird noises? Um, yes. Sounds? Okay, Mariam, what sounds do they make? Uh, I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't do, know how to make them. Do they say... <laughs> or... <laughs> uh, more like that like, one. Oh, that one. Okay, good. I, <laughs> I totally made that up. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, Gregory. Yeah. Uh, you live in Israel now. That's not where you grew up, is it? Yes, you're right. Yeah. I was born in Ukraine and lived seven years in Moscow. Okay. Oh, so you were living in a city when you were young, or? Yes, always in the big cities. Uh, in the city. Okay. Well. I was going to ask about animals and when you were young, but you were in the city, so maybe, did you have any pets when you were young? No, I don't. Oh, okay. I don't, uh, my mom right. uh, don't uh, like them. Okay. Well, let me ask you about Israel, where you live now. I, I, what wild animals besides jackals? Which should be cool. What other wild animals live there? Are there any, is there anything that could actually harm you? If I went to Israel, is there any animal that could actually... Yes, uh, snake for example. What? Snake? Snakes. Snakes. Uh, very poisoned snakes. Uh, I was uh, working sometimes uh, with saddles and uh, uh, was about stepped by the snake. It was very dangerous. Uh, about we, uh, no big animals. Uh, we very small country. I know in the north uh, somebody hunting for pigs, uh, but it's uh, uh, yeah. wild pigs. Wild pigs, yes. Oh, yeah, a boar. Usually, wild pigs in English we say it's a boar. Boar. Mm. Okay. But uh, other, I don't know. A small country, not so big nature. A lot, uh, yeah, what? Huge, huge desert. Uh, okay. Do yeah. you have scorpions yeah. in Israel? Yes, we have scorpions. Yeah, yeah scorpions. But, uh, oh, yeah. They scorpions dangerous only in uh, spring. They're oh, okay. not dangerous uh, in other time. And uh, we have uh, some spiders, uh, other spiders, uh, black widow, for example. Oh, you have black widows there? Yeah. <clears throat> really? Yeah. We have, we have black widows in America. Mm -hmm. Must be an import. <laughs> but uh, about big animals, we haven't. Okay. What? Uh, hmm. What kind of snake? Do you have cobras? No. No. no Other no. snake. A small snake, but very, very dangerous snakes. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, okay, let me go to Brazil. Alexandra, what Hi. should I fear in Brazil? What is the most dangerous animal of Brazil? Dun, dun, dun. Most dangerous. <laughs> yes. I know the answer already. It's a football fan. 
<laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's the most dangerous animal on earth. <laughs> a football fan. It's scary. Okay. Even worse than in English. In the yeah. In the bridge. <laughs> mm. In the UK. I don't know. Uh, a lion. I think it's a lion. It's a you don't have creature. any lions in Brazil. You're a lion. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's kind of a tiger. I'm not so... I'm okay. Not I think... In, in, but I think there's a tiger. Kind of a tiger here. I think in Brazil you have panthers. Panthers. Yeah, it's hmm. kind of like a tiger. It's it's big and it's a giant but the, cat. The, the black ones? Yeah, the, those. Hmm. Kind of scary. Yes, there are big cats. We... Yeah, giant cats, yeah. But uh, although, you know, uh, you know, even the big cats, your lions and your tigers and your panthers, they all purr, you know. All all the felines, okay. Those are the cat family. Did you know that? Did did, did you guys know that that all felines purr? Even a lion goes. <laughs> if you pet his big giant head and don't get your arm bitten off, he'll. <laughs> how how is that? Uh, how do you spell that? That yeah, action. Okay, that's. Thank you for asking me. Purr. All right, that's purr, P-U-R-R, -R, purr. purr. Yeah, well, double purr. R. It's kind of a weird <laughs> word, but I think English. they do. I think they do the sound. They make the sound. Yeah, they do. All, all feelings uh, purr. And uh, uh, have you ever seen um, born lion in a domestic in a house, and then he grow, and the owner feed them? Lion, it's not. Is it not too dangerous? I see yeah. some Americans do it a lot. <laughs> do you do you think that's insane, Alexander? I mean, <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay. Kind of uh, crazy. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a that's an excellent question, Roger. Do you think it's nuts for people to have a pet like a lion or a cheetah or a boa constrictor? Or a black widow, or a tarantula, or a monitor lizard. Mm. Do you think people no. are? It's not crazy? just for crazy people. It's just people that <laughs> knows how to handle those kind of animals. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, a buddy of mine from San Francisco has a big. He has a hole in his arm right here. Why? Because he has a pet monitor lizard, and those things have just really no remorse. If it looks like food, they eat it. And it, <laughs> it bit off a giant piece of his arm. Mm -hmm. But he still kept the... He did not get rid of his pet. I might add, he kept the lizard. And I, I might also add that that thing scared the bejesus out of me. I, it really was terrifying to me. I didn't want, not want to be anywhere near that thing. Very sharp, needle teeth and a big mouth, and clearly the thing is like a, a very small dinosaur. And uh, sorry, but I don't want to play with dinosaurs. Uh, that's not my style. Miriam, mm. would you like to? I'm going to give you a pet python. Uh. Would you like one? Would you like a pet snake? No. Okay, I'll <laughs> I give think it to that's you. scary. It is um, scary. Do yeah. do people do people in Colombia keep strange pets ever? Uh, yes, and snakes are the most common. Uh, oh, they are. Hmm? Really? Yeah. Uh, really, there are some people that think. Uh, even if they are expensive to maintain, because you have to give them one or two mice uh, a day, uh, the the fact is that uh, the snakes like to 
well, tend to escape from their boxes or from their their, their place right, where yeah. they belong to, and they scare other people, uh, other people in other places. So or neighbors, the neighbors yeah. or uh, <laughs> okay. Yes, the neighbors, exactly. When I lived in the United States, my neighbors, uh, boa constrictor, escaped their house and died underneath my refrigerator. Which, <laughs> uh, something smells bad. Where's that smell coming from? Yeah, okay, we figured it out after a while, but... So, yes, I, I can confirm that information. Yes, snakes tend to escape and hide in a very dark and uh, closed space. And then they die. And then they smell really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true. Uh, Mariam, have you ever watched a snake eating a mouse? Can you repeat the question? I didn't understand. Sure, I, I, I'm sorry. I said that very fast. Have you ever watched a snake eating a mouse? Uh, only videos. <laughs> only videos? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's good enough. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. Uh, Gregory, do people in Israel ever keep strange or exotic or even dangerous pets? Gregory? Gregory? Okay. Sorry, uh, sorry. I, I was, was muted and uh, lost in the internet, okay? Uh, oh, it's okay. Uh, sometimes... No Sometimes uh, people has uh, different uh, dangerous animals. Um, my relations uh, relations has one snake. Uh, your, and, uh, wait, wait, wait. Your relative. Or, okay, in English, uh, we, I understand what you're saying. My, my relations, and that's it's not exactly relative. wrong, but we normally say my relatives have. Relatives, yes. Sorry. Uh, have uh, a snake, and uh, when he uh, grow up, uh, he beat uh, the man. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, much like my lizard story. You know, he, he got big and bit off half his arm. Great, <laughs> crazy pet. Although I must confess, um, absolutely true story. When I was a, a freshman. And sophomore at university, my uh, not my roommate, but right next door to me, my friend, he had a tarantula. Now I wow. know you have tarantulas in Colombia. I know you do, right? Uh, Roger, uh, Mariam, you have uh, yeah. tarantulas in Colombia, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay, Alexandra, do you have tarantulas in Brazil? Spiders. No, the big, hairy ones. Yeah. My my brother had one. Like uh, big as your hand. Yeah. Yeah. My brother kept him one. He put in a glass, and it escaped. And mm -hmm. I tried to <laughs> to get to catch again. <laughs> when I was trying to catch the animal, the spider, I I. Put the glass over the, the animal, and I cut in two pieces. <laughs> you I, couldn't. I killed the spider in two pieces. I cut. <laughs> well, pieces. did you I put it? In, just put it in your hand. No problem. <laughs> in my hand? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Why not? Ah. I'm afraid of that. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I, when I was in university, my next door neighbor in the dormitory had a tarantula. And as a joke, we, we would go to the girls' dormitory and we would just, we'd have the tarantula and he'd just put it on his head. Kind of crawl on his head. Are you serious? And, oh, yeah. And he'd, he'd knock on the door and he'd say, Hi, Miriam. How you doing? Hi, Miriam. 
What's going on? I wonder if you could help me study for the test. And that spider would crawl down its <laughs> face. <laughs> Pretty freaky. <laughs> but, you know, actually I learned a lot about spiders and and it, it's actually true. The thing is, spiders are they're not malevolent. Animals are not malevolent. They're not evil. They're not like humans. They don't hurt people because they want to hurt people. Animals only hurt people if they're scared or they need to eat or they need to protect their young. That's it. Those are the only reasons. So even an ugly, scary spider, he won't hurt you unless you scare him. And the only thing that really scares a spider is if you, if you blow on them. Freaks them out. It's like if I start shooting a gun at you, it will kind of freak you out. Well, for a spider, that pretty much does it. Which is a weird yeah, thing. Okay. I, I have I have one question, which I I don't know the answer to. Okay, and I would love for one of you guys to to answer this question. Why is it if you take a dog? All right. Okay, uh, here's my, uh, my, the end of my energy drink. Okay, here, here's the dog's face. If I go, if I blow on a dog's face into his nose, yeah, he totally freaks out, runs away, freaks out, cries, and screams. If I blow into his face. But on the other hand, if you put a dog in a car and roll down the window, he'll <laughs> stick his head out the window <laughs> <laughs> with as much wind as he can possibly put in his face. Why is that? I don't understand that. I just don't understand. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. All right. Because they are inside a car. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It's... It, one of the world's biggest mysteries for me, just my personal box of conundrums, things I things that teacher Oakley doesn't understand. Why do dogs do that? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't get it. Uh, Janine, you're. May I say that you're a late bloomer? You're you're coming in with like one minute left in the class. No, Hi, Janine. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Brazil. You're from Brazil. Yeah, okay. from Rio. From Rio, Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, very good. Uh, beautiful city. Uh, what's your favorite animal? You oh, I think it's I think it's the dog. The dog? The dog? Which dog? Because well, you know, I like, okay. I like little dogs. Little dogs. Yeah. Like this big. <laughs> A little bigger. Oh, this big. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Yeah. Any particular type of dog you like? Chihuahua. Yeah, I have a pincher. You have a pincher? Yeah. Oh, okay. Those are kind of smart dogs. Those are all right. I gen myself. I don't like small dogs very much. Really? Why? They annoy me. <laughs> me too. Shut up, please. Thank you. My dog no, is I, old. When I lived in the United States, I had a Saint Bernard, a big dog, and then a. Uh, a German Shepherd, big dog. I, I had big dogs. I like big dogs. But uh, maybe it's because small dogs would bite me, and that just annoys me. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know what? We're over time. Uh, Janine, I'm sorry you only had a couple seconds, but uh, Gregory and Alexander and Roger and Mariam, Thank you very much. Thank you, I, teacher. I enjoy the conversation, mm -hmm. but nice. time nice to go. Time for lunch. Have a nice day. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.